When distal surface of mandibular deciduous second molar is present distal to the maxillary deciduous second molar, it is known as distal step. In this conditions, the permanent tooth that erupt distal to this tooth will also erupt in the same fashion. And this is known as permanent class 2 relationship. Now, there are two ways through which forward shift can take place. In that, first is when there is growth of mandible taking place and second is with the help of that is leeway space the teeth can shift anteriorly so with help of both this condition when this mandibular molar will shift anteriorly it can lead to another relationship that is end to end relationship Next is flush terminal plane that is both the distal surfaces of maxillary and mandibular second molar in the same plane. Now when the permanent tooth will erupt, they will erupt in the same manner only that is end to end relationship. But with help of the forward shift that we had seen, if that take place, the molar relationship in the permanent tooth will be class 1. And in case of mesial step, mesial step is where the distal surface of mandibular second molar in the deciduous dentition is present mesial to the distal surface of maxillary second molar. In that case, when the molars will erupt, they will also erupt in the same fashion and that fashion is class 1. But if the forward shift take place, it can lead to class 3 relationship in the permanent dentition.